Vic, Welfare said I was a bad mother. Their man said he was gonna take Mary Beth off me unless I put out for him. But I'll show him. I've got a couple of guys to take care of him. What? Killing him is gonna make things worse. When's this happening? Well, kinda right now. Did I do wrong? How was I to know better? Stay around my vessel, baby. Looks like the chief has shown up. What a surprise. The cops get here after the real crime fighting's done. Go ahead, Miss Malmstein. I thought I told you two clowns to stop meddling and police business. Listen to me, Chief. I respect you, but the fact is, without me, this town would be over before it's even begun. Ice Beach should be a peaceful place full of genuine people and Americans. But while searching for this fisherman, we've uncovered a ring of illegal... Cops. Somebody help! A man who was leading to a life of hideous and unmentionable vice. Good on you, boy. You're the best man in this place. You've got my backing, whatever you do. Kill whoever you think necessary. Thanks, Chief. You're a good cop in a difficult situation. But, Moorhead, tell me, what men are doing these terrible things in our lovely new town? Not man, Chief. Man. One man. Who? Oh. A missing fisherman. He's faked his death to put us off the scent. A fisherman, of course. Killing his own daughter. Moorhead, I know we've had our differences in the past, but the city needs you. Our burgeoning beachside community could be ruined by this sort of scandal. You'll have to bring this man to justice, whatever it takes. I shall, Chief. Don't make it up! Hey, stop, you scum! Sorry. Secondly, if you're heading into the swamp, you'll probably need some help. Me? Help? I'm Gordon Moorhead, not some rusky Chief. I mean this kind of help. Friendly napalm. It's great for all your tree and flesh-burning needs. Ooh, you mean friendly napalm is great at fighting crime as well as all the other handy uses it can be put to? That's right, I do. As a policeman and a father and a proud American who served in two wars, Amen. I use friendly napalm for all my napalm needs. There's nothing like a substance that sticks to your skin and roasts you alive to make you rethink your current political or economic system. Cheers, Chief. See you later. But Gordon, wait, I'm coming too. No, Polly, it's too dangerous for girls, even game little terriers like you. I insist. I may be weak and irrational and moody at times, and for 25% of the month I'm completely unbearable to be around, but... Put all that in your report! Leave Louise Williams alone, pal! Or you and I are gonna become close friends! Gordon, do you think we'll ever make it out of this crazy hellhole? I don't know, but I know I'm a man, I know you're a woman, and I know there are things I'd like to say to you. Swell things, Ooh. real things, Ooh. but now ain't the time. This is too serious. All of my speech is under threat. This calls for more to ride again. Later that evening in the murky recesses of a swamp. These wetlands sure are swampy and undeveloped. Sure. Now will you be quiet? Okay, sorry. Yeah, I wish Pablo were here to help us. His Mexican cunning would really be useful in a situation like this. Yes, he's foreign, but occasionally quite useful. Exactly. Hey, what's that noise? What noise? There, that whistling. It's Pablo! Pablo, you old dog. Ah, oh, buenas noches, amigo. Buenas noches, señorita Malmsteen. Pablo, what are you doing here? Oh, Pablo no can say, señorita. But since you asked, I was searching for the souls of my ancestors. But I thought you were Mexican. Why would they be buried in Florida? Yeah, that's true. They're not here. Hey, would you like a tortilla chip? Hey, Pablo, this is no time for eating. My speech is under threat. A vicious murderer, pimp, and communist is on the loose in these beautiful wetlands right on our doorstep. We've got to find him and bring him to justice. But Gordon, what kind of idiot would hide in these awful swamps? I mean, he's full of alligators and snakes and sea cow Okay, okay! She's white trash anyway! anyway.